Once again, we are happy to see you. We are happy to welcome you to this farmer's forum. In our company, what we always do is, we call it farmer's meeting or farmer's forum. We see it as an avenue for us to always have a meeting with our farmers and also to give it back to our farmers and how to improve on their business. But before we start, we start it opening prayer. If you have anyone here that can give us opening prayer, I would like us to start with a woman. Ladies, for any contact for any dry berry, opening prayer. Okay, let me give it to this. My mom. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Great farmer. We want to thank you for coming. Uh, this morning we are in Nigeria and uh, we need to keep hope alive. Uh, this morning I was about, uh, some people seem to be losing hope in Nigeria, but that's not for me. And uh, I want you to be encouraged because this is our land. And uh, one good favor we can do to ourselves is to remain patriotic. Uh, someone said, there's no one that can help us rebuild our nation except ourselves. There's something that interests me about uh, one particular man yesterday. Uh, how many of, people, of us know about hair peace? Hair peace. Hair peace is one of the aviation industry in Nigeria. And for long, uh, the flight to the United Kingdom cost as much as three million, four million. I'm talking about economy now. First class is up to 15 million. But this man came and said, as fought, flight to UK will be 1 million 200, 1.2 million. I'm talking from 4 million to 1.2. But you know what happened? Every other airline, like British Airline, all those other ones, they dropped their price. Why? Because the Nigerian did it. So what am I saying? We are the architect of our success. And we must begin to see it that way. So as we start this meeting, we're going to arise on our feet as we sing our national anthem together. <laughs> Farmers, no farmers. No I want to please let's have a seat. I want to especially welcome you to this uh, edition of Totmark Farmers Forum. Uh, this month we're having it in collaboration with uh, uh, New Hope Agri Technology, uh, the producer of New Hope Feed. Uh, I want to go through my welcome address before we start uh, the seminar proper. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, and our dear esteemed farmers, 
We want to welcome you to this inspiring seminar that is dedicated to cultivating hope in the face of challenging uh, situation, especially in our agricultural industry in Nigeria. Today we gather not just as individuals tending to lead the land, but as resilient stewards of a vital foundation that sustains us all. In the midst of scarcity, where raw materials seem elusive, remember that your dedication and the seed that can, your dedication is the seed that can transform adversity into abundance. Together, let us sow field of possibility and nurture the growth of thriving agricultural community. As we navigate these challenges, let the spirit of optimism guide us. Each furrow plowed is a testament to your unwavering commitment, turning barren landscape into fertile grants for innovation and progress. Your resilience is the heartbeat of our agricultural legacy. In this shared journey, let us exchange ideas, insights, and experiences. Today's seminar is a celebration of collaboration, a symphony of voices harmonizing to create a resilience melody that echoes through our fields. Let your stories be the melodies that inspire and resonate with every farmer here. Through shared knowledge and collective hope, we can weather the storm. Together, we stand not just as farmers, but as architects of a sustainable future. Thank you for being the backbone of our communities, for your enduring passion, and for cultivating hope even in the face of challenges. Let this seminar be a source of inspiration and empowerment as we forge ahead with optimism in our heart and determination in our heart. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to especially welcome you again because this is the time that we need to determine to forge ahead with whatever we are doing. And uh, to start with, I want us to uh, give a round of applause to farmers that are still in the industry. Because I can tell you that quite a number of farmers are already pulling out. But to me, I feel that that is not the option. The best we can do, we could reduce our stock based on how our capacity could be. But to having said that, I want to call on the first thing we have on our program this morning. Uh, we have prepared a special lecture for you for this morning. Uh, but, but before then, I'm going to be inviting uh, one of uh, the members of New Hope Agri Technology. Uh, they are going to be enlightening us about what they do. Uh, please, can we have you? <laughs> 